you've been following Holly on social media, at the beginning of the month, you saw one of the best April Fool's jokes that we've ever created. It's called the Sky Ram, and it's based on our popular LS intake manifold, the High Ram, which hot rodders know and love. This one is 3D printed, and it's got 30 inch tall runners. It's ridiculous, it's goofy, and we brought it all the way to West Tech and actually built it so Steve could test it. <laughs> Lucky me. <laughs> It is ridiculous, but it's ridiculously cool. Um, the fact that you guys can actually do something like this in engineering is actually what's really impressive to me. So it's really, I imagine they took some of the same dimensions that they had here and they entered that information into the printer and just made the runners a lot longer. So I think what we're going to end up doing is changing the RPM range and characteristics of the engine considerably. What we've got to compare it to is the high ram which is a really popular Holly intake, and we've recently done some testing on that for an episode of Engine Masters, but now we get to test the Skyram. So this is gonna be just nothing but fun. Well, if some is good, more is better. The longest intake runners that we've ever made, we'll see what it does. Let's go see. So we're getting ready to uh, go ahead and do our preliminary tests with the Holly High Ram on it. What we've got this thing bolted on is an LQ9 from EngineQuest. I mean, it's literally a stock engine with a smaller comp cams hydraulic roller in it. We're using the Holley HP EFI to tune it with, which is honestly kind of a dream even for an old carburetor guy like me. Um, we've already tuned it actually. We're just, we want to do something so you guys can see what's here and what to compare it to. So when we look at the high ram, then we can at least see how ridiculous this sky ram really is. So I think it'll be fun. So the real question is, is where do you carry the stepladder in your car when you're going to a show? So we just finished testing the Holly High Ram and that worked great. As you can see, we've got the Skyram bolted up and it's massive. It barely clears the dyno cell. And this is actually so big that when we 3D printed it, we had to do it in two sections, bond them together with a one inch steel all thread section to hold it together so it didn't fall apart on the dyno. This thing is a crazy science project and it'd be really cool to see what it does for the power band. Well, there you have it. <laughs> um, the Skyram actually was performed surprisingly well. I mean, I think a guy could tune this with no problem and go drive the thing around. We actually had to extend the cable up to the uh, throttle position sensor. Um, we didn't bother with the idle air control um, simply because we were dyno testing, but there's no reason a guy couldn't run this. But some of the characteristics of it are, is that you notice here this big hump, um, which, um, the question was why is that hump there and it's truly simply because of manifold design um, that is where the highest VE number with this particular combination is occurring that's where the most cylinder pressure is that's where the most air is being uh, induced into the cylinder that's the curve in black compared to the curve in red which is the high ram which is a much softer kind of curve but obviously a much higher RPM range we were done at 5000 RPM with this sky ram which I think we kind of anticipated that, honestly. Um, you know, it's, it, it really is, you can kind of almost go back to the early 60s and see long rams on Chrysler Max wedges that kind of use this same sort of theory and technology. Um, the longer runner being better for, typically better for low end torque and shorter runners typically being better for high end torque. Um, 
I think we just demonstrated kind of exactly what we had hoped and what we thought would happen, but it's still kind of unique. What I think the coolest thing is, is that odd hump there actually made 510 pound-feet of torque, and our peak number with the uh, with the high ram was 458 pound-feet of torque, so it far exceeded the, the high ram in absolute output, but again, um, the maximum power work being done is going to be up here, and so it depends on your application. This sky ramp, if somebody would dare to actually try to run it, it would probably be good for a tractor or something that kind of, you know, you needed power at 3,500 RPM. Otherwise, I think it might be nice to close your hood and uh, stick with the high ramp. All right, well, we dyno tested it. It worked. It's pretty crazy. We live in a time where you can 3D print an intake manifold, ship it across the country to a dyno center and run it, and it makes power and torque, and it made 50 pound feet over a high ram, which was pretty cool. It absolutely is. I mean, kind of part of the thing is what we really looked at here was a demonstration in runner length. And the high ram is actually pretty long, but this is just, as you can see, ridiculous. Um, we talked earlier about that hump that everyone had commented right. on. Right. And, and you know, I can tell you that I, I really, with the Holly software, it makes it very easy. I was running it in open loop, so I was actually tuning it. But I made it sure that it was within a tenth or so at every point in the RPM range. The timing was the same. Mm -hmm. um, it really was just isolated to the test on this. So it was pretty cool to see. I see a lot of intake manifolds and a lot of different designs, but it was really cool to see something so exaggerated that we were able to take a really good existing combination and find 50 pound feet out of it. So, I mean, if you don't need your engine to rev super high and you want a ton of torque, uh, this is how you do it. Um, if, don't forget that you can actually win the Skyram. We're giving this exact intake manifold away. You can find that at holly.com slash win. It even comes with the crazy moonshot massive nitrous plate system that we came up with last April Fool's. So uh, enter to win it and we even have a t-shirt that you can buy at holly.com.